you reckon people are creating subliminals on YouTube so they can profit from your insecurity? Or do you think that subliminals actually work? Oh, well, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> subliminal messages are affirmations played over a song. You can't really hear them, but your subconscious mind will easily pick up on those messages. They're not this weird thing everyone's talking about. They're just there to help you shift your mindset so that you can take better action. For example, if you don't believe that you are capable of losing weight, listening to a weight loss subliminal that has an affirmation that says, it is easy for me to eat healthy and stay committed on my weight loss journey can actually help you overcome your self-limited belief of, I can't lose weight. Wait, before I tell you how to actually make subliminals work for you, I have to tell you how it all started. It all started with a guy named James Vickery. <laughs> I can't pronounce names, okay? During the movie screening, he flushed the words eat popcorn and drink Coca-Cola. It was so fast, nobody in the cinema realized that he did it. But then, James made a claim saying that it encouraged more people to buy more food and more drinks, making the cinema bags of money. <laughs> Everyone was hyped about it thinking that this was a genius marketing idea uh well apart from the public that felt the see the experiment actually started to get some backlash from the public later on it was claimed that the experiment was false and there was actually no evidence of the sales increase and if things couldn't get even more sus the owner of the actual cinema said that there was no experiment in the first place but this didn't stop people from actually using subliminal youtubers recognized this opportunity and started creating subliminals with some unrealistic and stupid claims. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna be good. Here I found a video claiming that you can lose 5 kg every single hour. That's, <laughs> that's obviously not true. And what's even more funny about this video is that this video is 11 minutes long and 11 seconds. And if you don't know, 1111 is actually an angel number. Basically like a reminder from your spirit guides that you should align your thoughts and your actions with your higher self. So this creator literally took advantage of an angel number because they knew the people are more likely to click on it. And then we have subliminals that are all about beauty, transformations, and extreme makeover. And these subliminals can be very toxic because it further reaffirms that we as women have to change ourselves in order to be considered beautiful. And sometimes you can feel like YouTube creators are using our insecurities to make a profit out of that. But is there any actual proof that shows that subliminals actually work? Yes, there is. There was one particular study done to prove whether subliminals work for weight loss. And in this experiment, there were groups of 30 women each and everybody was asked to imagine a time they will be tempted to cheat on their diet. Right there is when half of the women were played a weight loss subliminal and the other half received like a neutral subliminal that has nothing to do with weight loss. At the end of the experiment, it was concluded that the group that received the weight loss subliminal actually managed to lose more weight. And I'm not surprised, our mind is such a powerful tool, we create our reality based on our thought and the story we tell ourselves. And in order to start changing your life, you need to start focusing on more gratitude and just rewriting your own personal story. And one way to rewrite the labels that you give to yourself is through subliminal. Because what your subconscious mind can't hear, it can't reject. So how do you actually make subliminals work for you? Step one is to make sure that you are in a good mood. Step two is actually finding the right subliminal to listen to. Make sure that you're picking the ones that are targeting your insecurities securities and if you can't find any just create your own that way you know it's 100% safe and then step three make sure that you don't obsess over it like yeah listen to one always remember that in order to improve your life you actually have to take the action don't wait for things to happen to you just meet the universe halfway so this leaves us with one question to ask are youtube subliminals profiting from our insecurities well, it depends. The ones that we spoke on earlier, yes. 100% yes. These are the ones that use very clickbaity titles that are over-promising things they can't deliver and they are toxic. Whether they're being unintentional or intentional with what they're doing, I have no idea. But I wouldn't cross off subliminals this quickly yet because I still believe that subliminals are still a powerful tool used to change your mindset. And to tell you a secret, the good subliminals are paired with good frequency music.